all right here we go again with another quick video just a little bit of a review for the model of the arm and all the muscles that we had to go over uh, just remember that this is the deltoid remember that the deltoid is named such because it's named after the fact that they believe that this shape of the muscle is related to a delta shape we've got three different attachment points because we've got an origin here at the clavicle and then the acromion and then the spine of the scapula and then it all comes down to one point where it inserts into the humerus at the deltoid tuberosity now if we remove the deltoid so it's not falling all over the place while we're moving the model we can see here that there are some muscles of the upper arm with this top muscle being the bicep brachii which we know it flexes the arm and it flexes the elbow as we rotate the arm a bit we can see this guy in the middle this is the brachialis which is referring to it being in the upper arm it also flexes the elbow and then here at the posterior side of the arm this portion and all of this makes up what's known as the tricep brachii remember that it makes a sort of arm sandwich with the bicep and with the tricep both being the pieces of bread and the meat in the middle being the brachialis that's all on the lateral side but if you flip it over you have a muscle located here which is going to be our coracobrachialis and the coracobrachialis is named as such because it originates at the coracoid process and then it inserts into the humerus and allows us to flex our arm just like one of the muscles you would use in bowling when we come down to the forearm remember that the forearm you can kind of learn these guys in different ways for example the anterior of the forearm all of the muscles on the anterior side of the forearm all do flexion while all of the muscles of the posterior of the forearm they all do extension also if that muscle has radialis in its name that means that it's going to insert or end up at the side of the forearm or the side of the hand that is lined up with the radius which means it's going to line up on this side and if it has ulnaris in its name it's going to line up on this side of the arm because the ulna is on this side if it has carpi in its name then that means it acts on our wrist and if it has digiti or digitorum in its name then it acts on the fingers and we can see here if we start with the brachioradialis the brachioradialis is here now I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see that would be the brachioradialis continuing with the rotation this would be the extensor carpi radialis longus and its little brother would be right beside it as the extensor carpi radialis brevis as we continue to swing this over you'll see a muscle that goes on to branch into four different tendons that goes up to your fingers also known as the digits this muscle would be known as the extensor digitorum it extends all four of your fingers and then if we continue moving over to this side we'll see the extensor carpi ulnaris now this is a perfect example of what we were talking about earlier he's on the back of the arm the posterior so he's an extensor he goes up to about right here at a metacarpal and he extends your wrist so he has the carpi in his name and look at this he's on the side of your arm with your pinky so that would make him a ulnaris extensor carpi ulnaris now rule of thumb no pun intended is that once you cross over the elbow because this is the last muscle before you cross over your elbow once you cross over to this side of your elbow you're no longer on the posterior side of the arm but now you're on the anterior side of the arm and this muscle located here is known as the uh, 
flexor carpi ulnaris. Now he's a flexor because he's on the anterior side of the arm, also carpi because he's going up here to a metacarpal and he's going to help to flex your wrist and he's known as ulnaris because he's still on this side of the arm which lines up with your pinky. Now we're definitely on the front of the arm. This muscle located here, if you just follow that muscle and follow that tendon all the way up, you'll see that it goes to the palm of the hand. That's got to be the palmaris longus. Palmaris because he's inserting into the palm of your hand and longus because look at how long this muscle and his tendon are. Just beside him is the flexor carpi radialis. He's a flexor because he's on the front carpi because he's going all the way up to here and he's going to wind up flexing your wrist and radialis because look at who he's closest to he's closest to the thumb not your uh, pinky so because he's closest to your thumb that puts him right beside the radi uh, radius bone so he's flexor carpi radialis and then the last muscle we had to know was this little muscle right here that actually wraps from your ulna to your radius and it literally flips and pulls your radius over the top of your ulna and that's known as the pronator teres which does pronation which basically flips your hand over like this and that's a quick review for the muscles of the arm